guys, welcome to Ditsy's Diamond Den. So we've got a couple things going on here today. We are going to be unboxing Respire by Yumi Art. I do not collect all of her works of art, but this one really did speak to me. I do do rounds, I swear, but this one is yet another square. 65 by 98 centimeters as indicated by the square on the box. As always, the box also has your instructions on the back and your scan me for your 10% off. I also added a single placer um, because of the fact that I did girl math and shipping and I'm also addicted to these and I'm scared they're going to, I don't know, maybe change it and I won't like it as much. So I just want to have like extras, so many extras. And that way I also don't have to wait for one of these to get shipped out if I buy a new pen, which you guys know I do too often too much yeah maybe a little bit of obsession so <clears throat> as you guys know i'm a big fan of putties so diamond art club did come out with a sparkle sticky reusable adhesive in rose i'm going to tell you right now it does not matter to me how perfect or how amazing this is i am so very I, I just, I love our small shops. I, I love what they do for our community. I love how they work with us on our events. And, you know, small shops are not just about bringing us really awesome accessories for our diamond paintings, but they're amazing people who also diamond paint. And, you know, there's a lot of YouTubers in the community. I know I personally, my YouTube channel would not be as awesome as I personally think it is. If it wasn't for the support that so many people in the small shop have given me. So thank you. I did decide to buy it and test it. So this will be the only time that I'm going to purchase putty. Just so I can, you know, kind of maybe see it and check them out. But I, I just, I like to support my small shops. I'm not tasting that one. No? No. So for $14, you do get a very large amount it's usually like bubble gum a putty this size is going to run between four and seven dollars for most small shops small shops are usually just a single person doing their best to bring us a great product on top of their full-time jobs um it's very tacky it's got a good thickness i do like kind of the glitter in it hey small shops can we add some glitter to some of our you know does and, it smell? Um, I personally am not a big fan of the smell. It's not bad. I mean, it's rose. So, I mean, I think that's what it says on there. Yeah, rose, sparkle, sticky, reusable adhesive. Well, not a big fan of the smell. I am going to use this. I will let you know how it works. But, and as much as I love Diamond Art Club, I love their canvases. I love their tips. I love so much about them. Please do not forget to continue supporting the small shops that make all of our lives so much better. Now, on to my favorite part of the deck, which is their amazing, awesome canvases. Respire. So here we go. I will say though, the amount of putty that they gave for the cost was definitely, and I definitely understand how they can have a lower cost, but that's a good amount of putty. That is. That's I'm going to weigh it, just because I'm curious. You're going to weigh it? Yeah, just because I am curious. It feels pretty heavy. It's 1.6 ounces. 1.6 ounces of putty, guys. For 14 bucks. That's that's not bad. That's a, that's a good deal. That is a good deal. It really is. And I know not everybody can always afford, um, especially when they're buying Diamond Art Club, they can't always afford to spend as much on some of the small shops and not all small shops are, you know, the exact same. So if you're new to putty and just want to give it a try, I mean, I could definitely see seeing it like yeah. in that, or if you're looking for more cost effective ways, uh, due to your own personal finances, I definitely understand that also. Oh, and reading on it right at the front, non-toxic, which is good to know. Yes. For their, your animals that like to eat your putty and your drills like mine do. So this is why I started leaving my plastic on here because through no fault of Dax, but this is cardboard. 
And as you know, cardboard can sometimes be finicky. So I did get a little bit of breakage here, but because I left this plastic on here, it is going to be just fine yep. for a very, very long period of time. So here's our cute little sticker. It does say the artwork's name, the artist, and the size. So you have that cute, and you can put that in the end of your box if you want. Your waterproof plastic containers. Now, I personally have not had an issue with these, but I do live in a rainy state, and I have had some wet boxes. Um, I have also had boxes that were crushed by the mailman, and I've heard of people who have had floods. And these... I know some people for space want to take them out of these. Don't take them out of these. These will protect the heck out of your canvas. And here we go. Let's take a look at some of these colors. And I'm going to hand this off to Dear Helper. He is going to run out of the room. Run. And open these up for my noise sensitive viewers. Oh, that is some colors. I keep getting all these diamond paintings that have all these amazing colors. Did you see any three tens in there? There's got to be three tens yeah, in be here. Three ten. There's three tens everywhere. <laughs> three tens all over. They get this amazing thank you for your purchase, your tips and tricks, what's included in your kit, your VIP Facebook group where you can get awesome deals, and step-by-step -step instructions. And they have a video for your instructions there also if you prefer to watch that. There's also a lot of instructional videos from just about everybody on YouTube that has that does diamond art painting, you can find an instructional video from them. So whoever you run into, I am sure they will have a video for you. So we've got our zip nut baggies. We have our washi tape for people that do like to use washi tape to section off. Do not put this directly on your diamond painting. This goes over the plastic cover. We have a pen and a finger squishy to protect your fingers. A four and a seven multi-placer. Lots of tutorials on how to use those. We do have this little wax. Now, if you're new to diamond painting, there is actually a protective film on this that you'll need to take off. So you don't just continue trying to jab to the plastic like your helper did the first time. Yeah. And we have our tray, and we have a stopper, so you don't have to worry about spillage if you turn it the wrong way. We have tweezers. Now, the tweezers only come in square kits. If you buy a round kit, you are not going to have tweezers in your kit. And, of course, we have our lovely cover minders, and we have a very pretty pink seashell. I have a blue. I have a white. I think we do have a pink. Okay. But, if not, we do now. We do now. We get another sticker here. And this whole entire thing is a sticker from here to here. So this slide, you can cut this out. Put this in your logbook if you keep it. It's got your start date, your end date, all the same information of the artwork. And over here, we have our symbols. You can take these off and put them directly onto your containers that you're using. So anything with a Z is going to stand for a fairy dust. That is a special drill that looks like a glitter bomb has went off and created very beautiful drills. Everything in the 6000s are special colors that Diamond Art Club makes in-house. They are not part of the DMC color coding. All the rest of these numbers are the DMC color coding, except for 149 and under, which is going to be an AB, which is an Aurora Borealis. And... That is going to, when you move it and shift it, it kind of looks like a prism in the sunlight and it's just going to shoot a whole bunch of rainbow colors. It's really pretty and I will stop and show you when I get to those. So this one does have three special drills for the fairy dust and one AB, which is going to be that white 141. Which I think is definitely probably one of the most used ABs. So this is a poured canvas, so we can roll this backwards, and yes, that feeling that you are getting as you roll this against your knuckles is very, very soft. The backs of these are incredibly soft. So with this, all they have to do is roll it backwards, and I don't know, this thing is going to flatten just from a little roll back. And, and then these... it will naturally flatten as you <laughs> leave it flat. Too. Yeah. So when I first started diamond painting, I was like having to lay books on my stuff. You do not have to lay books. You do not have to lay anything heavy on this. 
just give it a roll back, flip it on out. And then, so it's mostly already flattened. I let this sit for 10 minutes and it is flat. And oh my goodness, this is pretty. So I'm really into faces, everybody knows. And I think this is going to be the biggest face I've ever done. Yeah, and I, I like that a lot. And it is huge. Yeah, I love the way she is breathing in. So she does have another one that's kind of like this. But the reason why I chose this one was because I liked the face more. And I love the way her eyes are closed like that. So once again, this is a 65 centimeter by 98 centimeter. You can see it is copyrighted and Yumi Art is getting financially compensated for the use of their art with the making of this canvas through Diamond Art Club. We do have all of our socials down here, our 10% off. And of course, one of my favorite things personally about Diamond Art Club is it does come with a lifetime warranty on your drills. Now, of course, there are caveats to that, but it is actually an extremely fair lifetime warranty. So, let's start at the bottom here. I'm liking these background colors to begin with. These beautiful tans. And I think this is part of her hair. Yeah. Yes, it is. So, she's got the different colored hair. She's got all of these very life-affirming greens and flowers going on. She has got Mother Nature giving her life with this oxygen mask, which speaks a lot to me because, you know, I've got a little hippie going on. Um, her face, the piece in her face is what really sold me on this. Because like I said, I like her art. I do not collect them all. But the peaceful nature of her face to me is just, this is how I feel when I'm out walking. So once again, she's got this just gorgeous wild hair. She's got more flowers and greens. This background coloring is going to be so amazing. For any of you guys that like to do a lot of multi-placing, this is going to be a dream for you. There is really only a small amount of confetti in this, and that is going to be right through here in her mask. The rest of this is going to have like a ton of color blocking. Maybe a little bit of confetti there. There's not a lot of confetti in this. This is a color blocking beauty. Let's take a look at some of the actual colors that we are going to be using to bring this to life. We're gonna start with our big fat one first. And we do have four bags of the 3860s. This is obviously going to be one of those beautiful background colors. We have two bags of the 154, three bags of the 3371. That is a deep, deep, rich chocolate brown. We've got some green, three bags of the 838, which is more of a milk chocolate brown, four bags of the 779, three bags of the 38. 61. Double check that. Yep. So this is going to be a lot of our background colors. So this does not have as many colors as we usually go for. This does have 45 colors. We've got, oh, five bags of the 451. That is definitely going to be in the background and that is a beautiful color. So this, yeah, when I was looking at this on the website, it didn't look like it had as many color changes in the background as it does. It's quite beautiful. But we've got uh, two bags of the 8.98 going on here. I'm not seeing a 310 yet, but ooh, look at that dark, dark green. Yeah, that's very nice. Oh, some of the greens in here, because I'm not a huge green fan, but some of these greens, ooh, here we are, fairy dust. Z three three six three. Let's turn this around. Let you guys get a look at this glitter bomb. Boom. There we go. Oh, here's our next, ooh, pretty, Z3856. We got some more glitter bombs going off. Look at that. Ooh, I can't wait to find out where that is coming from. Ooh, that's it. like an olive green, that 611. I actually can watch the olive green because it's the same color as my skin. And let's do this one next. So for 
one of those special in-house colors. We do have four bags of the 6034. I love how DAC has expanded on the DMC color codes to really give their canvases those extra pops. I definitely appreciate that. We have four bags of this 452. Like I said, this is going to have some amazing color blocking if you are into that. Keep it going. Oh, found it. Ha! Uh -huh. I found it. Whenever I get a canvas that has a little bag of the three tens, I always swap them out for the fairy dust. Yes. So we've got the 141 ABs. I have so many of those. I am waiting to get a canvas that is just almost completely white. I'm saving up these ABs and I'm going to make like a whole canvas out of ABs. We've got two more of those special in-house Diamond Art Club colors. Some very nice muted tones. I know some people really like the vibrant tones and I like those also, but I'm a big fan of the muted tones. Ooh, look at that color, babe. You see that? That's nice. It is it's like ghost green. Very like Halloween. There it is. More glitter bonds for us to fan over. Z772. Man, if only those were glow in the dark stuff. Yeah, that's right. And just a few more colors going on here. All done. Let's see where these go. Let's see where some of these fairy dust go because we've got a lot of them. I think we had three pretty nice sized bags uh, of the fairy dust. So let's see, let's find our white AB. Super easy to find. All this white. So it is the whitest thing on the canvas. So pretty much anywhere you see white, you've got your AB. That is the only AB here. We also have that yellow fairy dust. And we're gonna have that down here. We're also going to have it coming in through these blonde streaks that you're seeing all over in her hair down here and a little bit up higher because she's also got a couple blonde streaks coming in through here in her bangs. Yeah, and I think the blonde streaks are like a lighting, like some type of lighting coming through and, and lighting that up. Yeah, because this is like, yeah, it's, it, yeah, yeah this is lit lit. Yeah. So this is going to be, this right here is going to like be super shiny. And so some of these blonde streaks are coming from that. Yeah, that, that shine from that light in her mask. Yeah, exactly. Nice catch. We have some of the darker green fairy dust. And we are going to have the dark green fairy dust over here in some of the leaves that are going to be in her hair. And so basically all over here, and I love it when they put the fairy dust and the AB together. I think it really makes it really shine bright. Like the last one that we did of hers under the stairs where yes. they did the fairy light. Yeah, those the, lights look the fairy like they drills. were glowing. Yeah, I mean, they were seriously glowing. So I'm really excited to see because they've got two fairy dusts in here, the light green and the dark green. And they also have this AB. This is going to be insanely beautiful. So basically everywhere you're seeing the green, you're going to be seeing some of that dark green fairy dust. You're going to be seeing a lot of the dark green fairy dust all throughout the green that's in the flowers and a little bit of the lighter green fairy dust. So here we are with Yumi Art from Diamond Art Club. Let's go ahead and give you one more roll through and if you've been enjoying this content please like and subscribe and turn on those notifications we definitely appreciate it we also are have bi-weekly mental health monday whipping chats and of course we have our lives on thursday so please join us thank you bye